Hello everyone, it's Courtney Michelle, and I have a quick word of the Lord um, addressed to the singles. As you can see by the title of this word, uh, it's called Singles, I Have a Reason to Usher You Into Your Kingdom Marriages. Now the Lord has been having me intercede a lot lately for the singles. Um, and I'm just an obedient daughter, so I pray and I intercede as he instructs me to do so. So as I was in prayer on 628-24, I became very heavy in my spirit and I began to weep. The Lord allowed me to feel the heavy hearts of his single servants. I then began to pray for the singles as the Lord instructed me to, right? Then the Lord began to speak. He said, your cries out to me have not gone unheard. I have heard you and it is your due season. He put emphasis on the word due. When I was in prayer again on 630, during my prayer time, the Lord gave me additional insight into the singles word that he gave me on 628. He said, I am about to move in the lives of the singles. I have reason to. The singles are on my mind heavily because the singleness is presenting itself as a distraction and a stumbling block in certain situations. I need the world to honor, respect, and value marriage again, holy marriages. And the scripture that he gave me was Galatians 6 and 9, and I'll read it from the King James Version. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. So singles, I pray that this word provides some encouragement to you. Um, pray into the word, take the word back to God and, and make sure you get confirmation um, from him that you are in fact in your due season. Many of you will begin to start seeing 422 in different places. And I've already released this word to a private group of singles, but the Lord is prompting me to release it here as well. 422 in the strong concordance means not to be put to shame. So when you start seeing 422 in different locations, different areas, uh, when you see the number 422, that will be God confirming to you that you will not be put to shame by remaining single for the rest of your life. He has a marriage that he is ordaining for you because again, he needs you focused. He does not need you to be distracted by the singleness, right? And then he also needs you to be representative of him, right? He needs your marriage to glorify him and he needs the world to see that your marriage glorifies him, right? He needs people to know and understand that marriage is holy, um, it's honorable, respectful, and valuable, okay? So I pray that this word has blessed you. I pray that this word locates whoever needs it. Uh, if you need know anyone else who needs to be encouraged by this word, please feel free to share it with them. I pray that you all have a great day and I will continue praying for you.